FeatureCam 2014 R2 has gained a significant workflow improvement by allowing cutter conversation for chamfers to be specified separately from the finish pass. Now previously users who needed this had to create a second feature duplicating all the same parameters in order to set the cutter compensation differently on the finish pass and the chamfer. This enhancement is general and will allow cutter compensation to be specified at the operation level in all cases, but the chamfer is by far the most commonly encountered case that we've seen. In this example you can see we've got a component with a number of side operations and each one of these has an associated chamfer at the top. They've already been grouped together into a pattern uh, and you can see we've got side 1 and side 2 with the two here contained within. If I go and have a look at the side operations and just go to the strategy page you'll note that there are two areas that we set the cutter compensation. We have a checkbox for the finish cutter compensation and we have a checkbox for the roughing cutter compensation. Now in previous or earlier versions of FeatureCam, by checking the finish cutter compensation, this affected not only the finish pass, but also other operations that were linked to the finish, such as a chamfer. In this case, if I cascade, uh, let's say, side 2 down, you can see here I've got rough finish and a chamfer operation. So what we've done now is we've now split the cutter compensation uh, away, so that the finish pass is dealt with with this checkbox. And likewise, if I go to the chamfer area and go to the milling tab, you'll notice there is an additional checkbox here that sets our cutter compensation for the chamfer. By default, this is always set to be off, uh, because the more common case is you wish to set your uh, cutter compensation on your finish to be on, but the chamfer to be off. We can go ahead and check this. I can set my finish cutter compensation to on, uh, and note under the chamfer, it's currently switched off. I can say OK to that. I can go ahead and play my 3D simulation. And I can check the NC code. In this case, I'm using the Fanuc 0M post. Let's go and have a look at the base here. So note the uh, areas we're looking at. If we check our tool mapping, we can see here that our chamfer tool is tool number 5. And for the side operations, we're using tool number 4. So here you can see T5, this is a chamfer operation, and there is no compensation set for cutting left or right. But if we scroll up to the previous operation, so this is tool number 4, and we can scroll down and we can see quite clearly we've got G41s appearing in the code. So this has now split the two operations in terms of their compensation values, which makes for a much more efficient workflow within the latest version of FeatureCam.